uh, we're talking about the second workout for the barbell blitz, um, RX division. <laughs> it's going to start off with one male, female pair, um, and they're going to be doing two minutes of cleans. They have 145 for the men's bar and 95 pounds for the women's bar. So three, two, one, go. They're going to be doing two minutes. They can do as many cleans between them as they want. They can break up the reps however they want. And then we'll say three, two, one, time. Now Emma and Andy are going to rotate to toaster bar. Beth and Tony are going to start um, deloading the weights here while they're working on the toaster bar. So Tony and Beth are taking out the weights. They take off the 10 pound plates off the women's bar. They're going to add the 10 pound plates to the men's bar, which is going to make the women's bar 75 pounds and the men's bar 115. And then you can see Emma and Andy have moved to a pull-up position that is directly in front of their lane. So they will have a couple of pull-up bars to choose from. Okay, so while they're working on the toaster bar, Tony and Beth are cleaning. Again, it's one person working at a time. They can break up the reps however they want. And then we'll say three, two, one, time. Um, now Andy and Emma are now resting. Tony and Beth now move to the toaster bar. And Alexa, Alexa and Danny are setting up their barbells. So uh, during the 30 second transition, Beth and Tony have now moved to the pull-up rig. Um, Danny and Alexa are setting up their portion for their cleans. The guys' bar is now set to 95 pounds. The ladies is set to 65 pounds. The 30 second transition is up. And now they'll start their cleans while Beth and Tony work on their toaster bar. And again, for both of these portions, they are working one person at a time, they can break up the reps however they'd like. Once we're through with the 30 second transition, where they were adjusting their barbells and transitioning to the pull-up rig, um, Beth and Tony will now start their pull-ups, and Alexa and Danny are working simultaneously on their cleats. Again, for both of these exercises, it is one person working at a time, breaking up the reps however they choose. Okay. Then the two minutes is up. Okay, so we have finished the two minutes of cleans along with the two minutes of pull-ups. So Tony and Beth are now resting as Danny and Alexa move to the chest of bar and they will be doing two minutes of chest of bar pull-ups. While they're working on this, their teammates are going to make their way back uh, in the lane and be ready to, ready to start the chipper as soon as the two minutes is up. Okay. Three, two, one, time. They have just finished their cleans. Tony and Beth have just finished their pull-ups. There's a 30 second transition. During this transition, Alexa and Danny are making their way to the pull-up rig. Three, two, one, go. Now they're working on the last two minutes of chest of bar pull-ups. Okay. And then one, as they're working on these chest of bar pull-ups, the other remaining teammates are heading back to the lane to get set up for the chipper, because as soon as the two minutes is up of them doing chest of our pull-ups, the team will start the chipper. So three, two, one, time. Okay, now the Alexa comes back to join the ladies, Danny goes back to join the guys, and they are both working on a chipper of 150 hand release push-ups, 130 thrusters, and 110 deadlifts. They can break up the reps however they choose. So we'll assume that they're finished with the hand release push-ups. Um, they move on to the thrusters. The girls, again, are working simultaneously. And both teams are completing the workouts. The ladies will do 150, 130, 110. The guys are also doing 150, 130, 110. There will be two separate times, the time that the ladies finish and the guys finish, so the ladies do not have to wait on the guys and vice versa. Okay, we'll see the teams are done with their thrusters and then they're moving on to the final portion, which is deadlifts. Okay, and we'll say three, two, one time, we'll say the guys have finished, but the girls have not, so they keep continuing on until they finish their 110, and then we'll say three, two, one time for them. 
And so we have both our girls' time and our guys' time to finish the workout. Okay, so we are talking about the logic here for the advanced second workout. Um, you're going to be doing three male-female pairs um, at three, two, one, go. Pair number one will clean the bar, and they'll do two minutes of clean, so they're just going to pretend here. The guys is set for 225, and the girls is set for 155. They're breaking up the reps however they choose. At three, two, one time, there'll be a 30 second transition. Alicia and Andy will now move over to the pull-up rig. They will go to a designation that is in front of their lane. And then Tony and Beth, during their 30 second transition, are changing the weights. The guys will go down to 205. You'll get there by removing the 10 pound plates. The ladies will go down to 135, and they will also get there by removing the outer 10 pound plates, okay? Transition is over, three, two, one, go. Andy and Alicia are working on chest of our pool lips while Tony and Beth are simultaneously working on the cleans. Three, two, one time, 30 second transition. Tony and Beth now go over to the rig. Danny and Emma are coming in to set their barbells. Danny's gonna remove the 35 pound plate and add the 15 to either side. And that's going to make it a 165. Emma's going to take off her 25 pound plate and add a 10, a 10 pound plate. And that will make her barbell 105 pounds. And you can see Danny has come over to help Emma, so you are allowed to help your teammates. You're not responsible for loading just your own bar. It will be required, so we'll make sure the clips are back on. You can go up with the clip back on. And we'll say the 30 second transition is over. So then now Danny and Emma are on their two minutes of cleans and Beth and Tony have started their bar muscle ups. Three, two, one time. Now what's gonna happen here is Danny and Emma are gonna go over um, during their 30 second transition to the rings, which are gonna be over here. There will be a designated ring station as they move over um, towards the muscle ups. And the remaining four teammates who are now resting can be setting up the barbell for the workout. So three, two, one, um, time, or three, two, one, time, the 30 second transition is over. They're working on their muscle ups, and in the meantime, while they're working on their muscle ups, the remaining four teammates are loading the barbells. The guys will be 135 on the thrusters. Tony's taking his barbell down by removing the 15 pound plates and making it equal to 135. Beth is taking off the 10 and she's adding a five pound plate. Again, the remaining four teammates can be helping load this bar. They'll have approximately two minutes plus the 30 second transition to get that ready. Okay, three, two, one, time. Okay, so Danny is just finishing up their two minutes of muscle ups, three, two, one, time. As soon as it is time, then we're starting on the chipper portion, which is going to be the men over here on the right side doing their handstand push-ups. They're working simultaneously along the women who are on the left side doing their handstand push-ups. They will complete a total of 100 handstand push-ups. Um, all three men will complete the 100 as well as the all three ladies. They're working one person at a time. Then they'll come over to their thrusters, which their barbells are now loaded properly at 135 and 95. They'll complete 110 thrusters between the three men, 110 thrusters between the three ladies. And once they're through with their 110 thrusters, then they move on to 120 deadlifts. And again, they are working as individual teams of three now. So they do not have to, the guys do not have to wait for the females to be finished with an exercise and vice versa. So we'll say that the men have finished their deadlifts, their time is over, the ladies are still working. They haven't quite finished their 110. But once they're done, we'll yell time. And now we have two sets two separate times for the workout, the men's time and the ladies' time. Okay, so uh, we're going over the standard here for the cleans. Um, these must be taken from the floor. You cannot do that from the hang. Um, we'll go ahead and start with a muscle clean. Good, making sure that those elbows land in front of the bar, full lock out of the hips, power clean. And then uh, split clean. 
bring your feet back together before lowering the bar down. And then a squat clean. Okay, squat cleans are permitted, but they are not required, so you do not have to get below parallel if you are attempting to squat clean. Um, a couple of no reps would be where you um, do not bring your feet back together if you split clean it. Okay, that's a no rep. Um, or if you do not get your elbows in front of the bar. Okay, that's a no rep. Or if you do not extend um, your hips before lowering the bar. Uh, we're talking about the standards for a toes to bar. So for this one, your feet must go back behind the upright, and then your feet must physically touch the bar. Okay? You can strip them like you did. You can kip them. If you kip them, make sure you can come back behind the upright. Okay? Come on down. Okay, we're going to show a couple of no reps. So will you show us one where your feet do not go behind the upright? Okay, so that's a no rep. And then come on down and then show us one where you straddle it and your feet go outside of your hands. So your feet must remain inside of your hands. <laughs> That's a no rep. <laughs> so another no rep where your feet pitter patter the bar where they don't hit simultaneously. That's a no rep as well. Okay. Alright, for the pull up. For this one, um, you can do a strict pull up, a butterfly pull up, you can do a kipping pull up. For all of these, we're looking for full lockout at the bottom with chin over the bar at the top. Okay, that's a kipping. Show us the butterfly. Good. And then one strict. And that is an option as well. Okay, um, some no reps. Will you show us one where you're kind of starting with your arms not locked out? Okay. So if you're going like that, that's a no rep there. And then of course, if your chin doesn't get over the bar on any of these types of reps, okay, that's a no rep as well. Okay, moving on to chest of our pull-ups. Again, we were looking for full lockout at the bottom. Um, you can kip these, you can strict these, you can butterfly these. Um, we just have to make sure that our chest makes physical contact with the bar. It must physically touch the bar. Okay, there's one. You can kip it, good, or you can butterfly. And then, can you show us a no rep where you don't actually touch your chest to the bar, but you get it close? Okay, so that's a no rep. Okay, so we're demonstrating the standard for a bar muscle up. For this, we're basically looking, you, looking for you to just get yourself over the bar with full lockout at the top. Okay, uh, demonstrating the standard for a ring muscle up. For this, we're looking for your um, arms to be fully extended at the bottom and then full lockout at the dip at the top, okay? Um, for a no rep, it would be if you start with your arms okay. bent. <laughs> okay, so if you're starting there, okay, that's <laughs> gonna be a no rep for that starting position. Um, if you're not reaching full extension before going into uh, the next rep, Okay, so that's a no rep because he did not fully lock out his arms before moving into that next rep. Okay, so we're talking about um, the standard for the hand release push-up. So for this, you must release your hands at the bottom, lock out your elbows at the top, okay? And go down, release again, lock those out. Now what you'll notice is that his knees are not touching the floor. If his knees touch the floor, then it'll be a no rep. So, We'll show some there, so you can see Danny's knees are on the ground, so he's basically using his knees to push himself up, so that's going to be a no rep there. Um, if you forget to release your hands, so show us a couple that are good reps, but you're not releasing your hands, so that's going to be a no rep, and then show us a couple where we do not lock out our elbows. So those are no reps to you, too. If you don't actually touch your chest all the way down, okay, so those are going to be no reps as well. We're demonstrating the standard on the handstand push-up. So for this, we're looking at to kick up into a handstand before lowering down. You must touch your head to the floor with full lockout at the top. So you can do it strict like he did, or you can also kip it. If you kip it, you need to make sure that your feet touch the wall before lowering down into the next rep. Good? We'll show you a couple no reps. So we're going to show you one where you don't 
fully kick up into a handstand before lowering down. Okay, so he wasn't quite extended before lowering. And then we'll show you one where you don't lock your elbows. Okay, so that's a no rep. And then can you show one where your feet don't hit the wall before you lower? Okay, and that's a no rep as well. We're gonna have a demonstrate the technique here on a thruster. So you can power clean it into position and then squat down, press up. You can also squat clean into your first rep. And because um, this is the thruster we're looking at and not the actual clean, um, you are allowed to take it from the hang as well too to get it into your front rack position. Okay, what we're looking for here is proper depth and full lockout. So show us another one where we're going hips below parallel. And then full lockout at the top, head through that window, arms over the midsection of the body. Thank you. Okay. So, um, a few no reps, so show us one where we do not achieve full depth and where the lockout is in front of your, yeah, so, yeah, so if it's there in front of your face like that, that's going to be a no rep as well. Okay, thanks, Ian. And then um, our last exercise we're going to show you here is the deadlift. Uh, for this, we're just looking for a full hop lockout of the hips with those shoulders finished behind the bar. Okay, uh, we will not allow bouncing. So deliberate bouncing is going to be a no rep. And if you uh, do not finish with your shoulders behind the bar. Okay, so that's gonna be a no rep too because we're not reaching full extension. Okay, thank you.